Good evening, Sister Cleo, Sister Marcel, Tita Julia. Good evening. Good evening, Sister Belen. Good evening po. Wow. Ang aga nyo. Praise God. Yan. Good evening, Sister Cleo, Sister Marcel. Sister Jenny Rojas, hello, good evening. <clears throat> how are you? Sister Gigi Rabago, hi, how are you? We're very happy that you guys are here. <clears throat> good evening, everyone. And we encourage everyone to once again share and tag our link so that our friends and loved ones can be notified and uh, be re reminded. And uh, don't miss tonight because, oh man, I know that um, you are in for a blessing. You and I are in for a blessing. Amen. Sister Cleo, Sister Jenny. I hope that Sister Anita is already here. Couples Lucita and Luis Arsanan. Please, to all of you who are online already, can you please say hello in the comment section so that we can know that you are there already. Good evening po sa inyong lahat, Sister Jane Shatwell. You just log in, ano? Good evening po. And we still have a few minutes to start. But we're very excited for the episode 2 of The Beginning of Wisdom. Hello, everyone. Please say hello in the comment section so that we will know that you are already signed in. Ati Mirna Almaida Malang. Good evening, Ati Mirna. You are in for a blessing tonight, you and I, and every one of us, Tita Juliet. We need to really uh, put ourselves in the presence of God because we are in for, once again for a blessing. Good evening, everyone. Sister Jenny, nako talagang... Uh, we praise God. We're very excited for the topic tonight. Amen. And so while we are waiting, I hope that you guys can share and tag our link. And this is the episode two of the beginning of the wisdom series. And the title for tonight is, ipaki-type naman po sa comment section, the beginning of wisdom. Tonight is episode two. And just last week, we all know that we launch this series with a bang, with the power, because we started talking about uh, the principal thing, okay? The basic foundation, this is the principal thing, and that is wisdom. And I hope you guys, the challenge of Pastor Willie last Thursday, that once a day, maybe we can read chap uh, one chapter a day, because anyway, there are 20, 31 chapters for the book of Proverbs. And we encourage you that you finish one chapter in a day. Amen? Amen po ba yan? Na, nabasa ba natin yung chapter 1 and chapter 2? And of course, gusto po namin uh, humingi ng tulong sa inyo. You can all um, type all the verses later on. May pagkakaloob sa atin ni Lord by uh, our speaker. No? So I hope you guys can uh, uh, prepare already your phone, your notes, your Bible so that we can check. And while we are listening, once again, of course, ang gusto natin, vertical ang ating relasyon sa ating Panginoon. That means while you are listening to us, watching us horizontally, you are speaking to our Lord individually vertically. So kay nanay, kay tatay, ate at kuya, I hope you guys that you are catching that, that every TTH of Red Talks is not about us, it's not about the speaker, but it is about the Lord. And so we've been praying for you and your family. Every household will experience the presence of God every Tuesday and Thursday. Wow! Yung note po na sinasabing experience para kayo mismo ay makaramdam, uh, makausap nyo ang Holy Spirit. 
and that for the year 2023 as we all move on ay um, kasama po natin siya sa pagpapatupad ng ating mga plano. Amen po ba? Amen. And uh, we still have a few minutes to start and we praise God. Um, I'm not sure who is Guru Gigi because this is like a different uh, language in the comment section, but we pray that you are understanding that Red Talks is a storytelling Bible study that promotes the love of Jesus Christ. Amen. This family, this um, uh, platform belongs to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Yan. So magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Okay. Okay, and we still have a few minutes. Yan. Just last Thursday, we launched. And our main verse for last Thursday is Proverbs 4, 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. Yan. So, of course, marami pong diniscuss dyan. Yung insight, yung foresight, yung discernment. Amen. And I hope that you guys are taking notes. And... Uh, it doesn't stop at Tuesday and Thursday, but continuously 24-7. Good evening, Sister Anna Michelle Guico. Good evening in Australia. We are so happy that you can join us together with your family to Brother Jack. Good evening to everyone. And here we go. Blessed, blessed Tuesday of February 7, 2023. Tonight is a beautiful night because once again, you and I at the comfort of our home, we will experience the presence of God. Tonight is episode two of our wisdom series. Just last Thursday, we launched with the title, The Principal Team. And tonight, our title is The Beginning of Wisdom. The Beginning of Wisdom. So may I introduce to you the members of the panel tonight. May I ask in order that you can say hello Brother Mel, Rome, and Hannah, and of course, our dear mentor, ang tatay natin dito sa uh, Red Talks, our dear pastor, Pastor Willie Chua. Gabi po sa inyong lahat. Uh, kompleto po kami ngayon na ano, nandito po yung dalawang anak ko at saka yung sister, na, si Sister Rose. At uh, pagkukwentohan po natin uli yung... Uh, uh, wisdom. At pagka po pinagkwento ko natin wisdom, hindi po nawawala yung pangalan ni Haring Solomon at yung kanyang libro na sinulat. No, almost lahat sinulat, sinulat, sinulat niya yung proverbs. You know? So, yung pong challenge ni sa atin ni Pastor Willie last uh, week, na ay last uh, Tuesday, na basa, magbasa po tayo ng, Amen. Uh, ng uh, every chapter uh, every uh, what, one chapter a day. At makikita po natin, napakaraming, ano, I think, 52 plus na binanggit sa buong, sa buong uh, proverbs yung salitang wisdom. Amen. Para makita natin kung ano yun. Amen. Ako, 52 plus pala yun, ha? I-check ko sa Google yan. <laughs> okay, Hana. Good evening, everyone. We are excited for tonight's episode. So, 
we hope that you can call all your family and loved ones to listen and watch tonight. Hi everyone, good evening. Once again, welcome to Red Talks. I hope everyone is ready for tonight's message. I hope you have your pens and your uh, notebooks with you and most importantly, your Bible. Yun po ang importante. So we are on episode two tonight. I hope you guys are looking forward to it as much as we are. Yeah, good evening to, tonight. Uh, my internet is a bit so baka yung mga gesture will, will be lal. Nevertheless, that uh, the Lord is still present and will convey to each one of you loud and clear. Tonight, it's the being the top priority wins the principal. Tonight, we want to start digging into the subject on wisdom. And as prayer is that all of us will grow in wisdom. Oh, a bit a bit uh, challenging nga, Pastor, ang inyo pong connection. But, and we pray that everyone can hear Pastor Willie. Okay? You guys, are you ready? Okay? And uh, Pastor, maybe is it okay if we try relagging? Medyo Medyo talagang napuputol. Okay. okay. Is, it, is it okay? You you relag? Okay. Yes. Okay. It, all right. And while Pastor Willie is lagging in once again, may we ask Brother Mel uh, to pray uh, to pray for the topic for tonight. And of course, all of you out there, can we please pray for the Wi-Fi of Pastor Willie? Is that okay? All right. Okay, Brother Mel? Tayo po yung manalangin. Mapagpalang Ama, maraming salamat po sa gabi nito. Nadalangin ko po na bigkisin mo ang bawat sa amin ng iyong karunungan, ng iyong kaalaman. Find us with your wisdom, O Lord, this evening, O Panginoon, Lord. Sa ano, Panginoon, ay uh, makita namin kung ano yung, yung mensahe na dapat namin uh, malaman about your wisdom, Panginoon. At sana Panginoon, may apply namin sa aming buha ang bawat uh, kataga na aming matutunan sa araw na ito. Lord, uh, uh, digyan mo po ng kaalaman. Gamitin mo ang iyong lingkod, ang iyong mga lingkod upang uh, maibigay namin sa inyo kung ano yung mensahe ng ating uh, Panginoon sa araw na ito. Uh, Lord, kung ano man po sana yung mga problema na aming kinakaharap, especially yung aming connection right now, yung connection ni Pastor Willie Panginoon, Lord, uh, kayo po ang uh, inaasahan namin na uh, magbibigay ng magandang signal sa bawat isa na nakikinig at mga nagsasalita Panginoon. Lord, uh, sa, sa gawin pong ito, patuloy kaming uh, uh, humihingi ng uh, patnubay sa bawat internet na aming uh, sa aming mga bahay. Sana okay. Lord may maging uh, magpapala ang mensahe na aming marinig sa bawat pamilya na nakikinig ngayon. Sa iyong matamis na pangalan. Amen. Amen, amen, and Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Beautiful, beautiful topic po ang wisdom. Just last Thursday as we launched it, pinag-usapan po natin that this is the principal thing. This is the foundation. And this is important because once you don't have the wisdom, ang pwede lang pong mangyari is you go to the right or you go to the left. And without the wisdom of our God, I'm sure mapupunta po tayo sa left. Isn't it? Our main topic for tonight is coming from the book of Proverbs verse chapter 9 verse 10. Ito po yung topic natin for tonight. Ayan. And to deliver us the message, 
Hi, Pastor. I hope that your connection is good already. Ayan, Pastor. We see you now. We see you. I hope it's better now. We cannot hear you, Pastor. Up to now, can you hear me? Now we can hear you. Yan. Okay. okay. Good. Good. Yeah. And we just finished praying, Pastor, and now we can start the topic, the beginning of wisdom. Ano nga ba yun, the beginning of wisdom? Uh, if you have your Bibles, please turn with me to Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. I will be reading from different translation. Precisely, ulitin ko po ang explanation ko. Dahil po sa ating kita ang pahe at pitari, kung minsan hindi po natin maaa ang talagang yung buong ibig sabihin that we have to use expression. Um, at dahil ang mundo ay nagbabago, yung lipunan ay nagbabago, mayroon mga salita nag a din po. Halimbawa, may mga salitang Pilipino at ating ginagamit nga alam na. Go. People will use that. Ano yun? Ilo? Hindi. Go. Okay. A lot of things, no? Uh, I remember in the 70s in EP. If, if, do you understand the kid? And just learning English and what, what in the hook? You know, dig it, dig it, hook. So I didn't quite understand what it was all about. Nobody uses that. Do you get me? They usually say, get me. And this is because of the limitation of our language that it evolves with society. Charity used to be a word for what today we call love. Today, when you talk about charity, you're referring to good work, to deeds, or success. But charity in the Bible is an old word referring to love. So, I found chapter 9, verse 10. Dark Bible. He said, the, the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One understanding. So, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. As a, as, as a young man, I have memorized that, the fear of the Lord. And yet, over the years, I sometimes say, Papa, my because it says the fear of the Lord should I fear. Sometimes we describe it as fearing. My husband is a God fearing man. But what exactly does it mean? Akala ko hindi maganda ang takot ng baba tayo. Natatakot tayo sa Panginoon. Takot ko is papano naman tayo lumapit. E nakakatakot pala eh. So we want to understand in this context means when it comes to the Lord. The new living, uh, the, the living translation says, for the reverence and fear of God are basic to all wisdom. Knowing God results in every other kind of understanding. So here it is. He said, the reverence. So here it's the fear should have the element of reverence. You know that the Lord created you. He can destroy you, but he won't. For that, you respect him. You fear in a way, healthy fear. Just like sometimes we fight. It's a, it's a Satan. He's capable of doing that, but he won't. We fear or, or reverence him because who he is, because he provides for us. Is our father because it's his name. 
privilege to be his son and all these things. So the respect for that. The new century versions, wisdom with Lord. You want to be wise? It begins with respect. Understanding begins with knowing the Holy One. Ano pong ito? Yung ba ibig sabihin kapag dumaan tayo ng gusali na may or dumaan tayo sa simbahan, we low we we remove our cup as a sign of respect. Does it that when pass by a church to the sign of the cross? Does it mean when we pass church we do something holy? Throw away the cigarette or or be nice to people? Respect and a gesture, and we'll get to that later. Okay, the New International Readers version says. If you want to become wise, so if you want to be wise, you must begin by respecting the Lord. To know the Holy One is to gain wisdom. In short, you want to gain understanding, you should know the Holy One. Last episode. Why? Because God is the source of wisdom. You cannot search for wisdom or have wisdom anywhere apart from God. So when God is not in the picture, you're not talking about godly wisdom. You're talking about what we call pseudo fake wisdom. Or other people will call it the worldly wisdom. The New Living Translation says, fear of the Lord is the foundation them. It's a big wisdom. When you are building building, kapag pati nagtatayo po ng gusali, saan po tayo nag-umpisa? Sa pundasyon. Hindi pwede tayo mag-umpisa sa bubong. Sa pater, huli na lang ang pundasyon. Kapag may natira tayong budget, saka natin sa, sa lupa. Kasi walang, wala naman wala naman mapapan na sa ilalim eh. No, on the contrary, the most important thing in, in construction is to make sure that you have a strong foundation. The stronger the foundation, the taller, the higher the building can, can carry the weight. Yesterday, there was a strong earthquake in Syria and in Turkey, and thousands of people died. You know, the problem is not the earthquake. The earthquake, the crisis, is really structures that were not. Maybe sometimes the contractor, especially here in our country, the government contractor, may think, oh, doon tayo mag-cheat, bawasan natin, bawasan. Hindi naman ma-audit yun eh. Yun po ang Ring. sa labas mukhang okay naman maganda yun, yun, yun. ngunit kapag ating ang lindol doon natin malalam kung yun gusali na yun patatag o picture kahit na gaano kaganda kahit na gaano kalakas kapag wa, mahina putasyon la, wasak lahat sa lahat so it says that the fear of the Lord foundation of wisdom. If you have wisdom that is not built on the foundation of respect for the Lord, reverence for the Lord, or fear for the Lord, that wisdom will not hold water. That wisdom will not be able to stand the test of time. This is the reason. Ang daming mga criminals ang taas ng IQ. Ngunit ginamit ng pula ang kanilang Pagalingan sa mga lokohan. They use it because God is not even in the kingdom. That so-called wisdom was the of God. The source is the world. The source is human wisdom, human argument, human reasoning, rationalization, and even assumption. So it's very important that 
our the foundation of is the Lord. Knowledge of the Holy One results in good judgment. You will know there are many people who we think very wise, and yet mga discarded nila sa buhay, kakagulat, kakataka. Bakit? Ano ini isip niya? O kung minsan niya, ano naman iniinom niya o ano naman ang hinihit? Where, what, what was he thinking? But ginawa niya yun. Akala ko matalino siya. Bakit? Because there was no knowledge of the Holy One. That's why he ended up with poor judgment because his so-called wisdom was not founded on the fear, the respect, and the reverence for the Lord. The message translation it say skilled living gets its start in the fear of God. Insight into life from knowing holy God. You want to gain insight? We talk about that the we three components insight, foresight. You want to have insight life? You need to know the whole because God is the God in from the beginning. He will show us. Like I like what um, uh, Psalm 37 and 73 said, you know, ah, huwag kami maingit, huwag kami makikita mo na ano, yung mga uh, maka- okay, okay naman sila, yaman-yaman nila, sikat-sikat nila. Ikaw naman, honest ka, kumakaya, ngunit hindi ka umaasen. So Panginoon, unfair yata. I think at one point or the other, most of us have asked that question. No, unfair Ako, doing the right thing. And I'm like, I remember in high school, I was so angry because uh, I was studying, studying hard. I barely, you know, my grade was low. Or 78, 79, masama na ako, that's a kind of eight. And then yung mga first, the exam, matatakas, nag-cheating at nung bilang uh, uh, kaklase na nakikita Ngunit, the teacher liked them because their owner's story, parang ako, oh, parang ewan ko kung hindi napansin ng kari, nagbubulagan. Ngunit sa mga buong klase, nakikita natin, namin. So, I felt bad. I said, that, I'm not sure. And yet, my grade is low. So, I was angry. I was, I feel unfair. I was envious. Why? Because that sense of righteousness was not founded on God. He said, he says, until I go into the presence of God, then I understand. Why? I understand that their days are numbered. I understand that their, their, their benefits are shortly. That they may do they, they may do well in class. But in life, they will not do So sometimes yung mga matatakas grades sa school, pagdasting sa actual Cannot have what? Why? Because in you can, in life you can, you know, you have to use what you are made. Of. And if your character is not well developed, it will cave in. And so, that's why it's so important to be inside. When we begin to look long, people say, "Why should I get on my wife?" I don't want my marriage to be busted. What can I cheat on my? I don't want to destroy the respect of my children for me, and also for my children to to see my example. And when they have their own family, they would. Somebody who has insight, they and they know God at life. They would not look at life at the here and now. Wala naman. Go tayo. Not, nothing. No. But somebody who knows God will look for the patient point according wisdom is to be consumed with all as it would Jehovah God. I love the starting point for acquiring wisdom. You want to acquire wisdom. 
the starting point is ensure the minimum requirement to be consumed as you worship of a God. E kung minsan, napapagin, di ba, habang nag-worship, naiinip tayo. Kung minsan, nag-worship tayo, kung saan sa tingin or natitingin tayo sa relo natin. Because we are not really consumed by awe at God. Be consumed with awe. Are you at awe with God? Parang binibig ka sa Panginoon. That is what God fear. That is what fearing means. Some of uh, the, the, the Proverbs uh, author said, to receive the revelation of the Holy One, to know, in other words, the Holy One, you must come to the one who is living understanding. Not dead understanding, living. In short, it is alive. That wisdom is alive. That knowledge is alive. That understanding. So, we want to talk about the beginning of wisdom. And what is the beginning of wisdom? The fear of respect to the Lord. The awe for God. The reverence for God. A healthy fear for the Lord. That, parang ano, di ba? Uh, if you feel love or parents, kahit na mas malaki ka na, mas malakas ka na, maring matanda na po, at kayo eh, mas ma maraming magulang natin. Ngunit, eh, ginagalang po na, opo, o kahit po, at nagalit sila, hindi po tayo pumapalag, hindi natin sila. Because we fear, we risk them, we reverence them. This is for fear of the Lord. Some, uh, uh, look in verse, this is some, this is a sign, this is Uh, we can't hear you na po, Pastor. Yan. <laughs> Ayan. Yan. Um, uh, medyo putol-putol po talaga. But praise God, we got we got your last part po is in Luke. We don't hear the, the, the verse. Okay. Luke chapter 18, verse 2. <laughs> Luke chapter 18, verse 2. He said, in a third, Jesus was... Referring, talking about persistent prayer. But he, he used an analogy. He said in a certain town, who did not fear God or who did not respect God or people. So here, another example, hindi yung takot sa Diyos. Ang respeto, parang binabali wala mo ang Panginoon. Ito ang ibig sabihin. Now, ang tanong, the beginning of wisdom. What is the end? Is there an end to wisdom? What is the beginning of wisdom? The fear of God. The fear of the Lord. What is the end of wisdom? The end of wisdom is the fear of man. Mm. Or valuing. So if you say fear, that means I value God's opinion. If you say Takot sa tao. Takot sa opinion ng... Takot kung anong isipin ng ibang tao. Takot sa mga anong sasabihin ng... So, wisdom is the fear of men. That the moment we fear men or we value, mas halaga po natin ang opinion ng tao kaysa opinion ng Panginoon, wisdom cannot grow in good wisdom when we are chasing the approval of men. Mm. Today, karamihan po ng mga botante, nais nila, kontrolado nila ang mga politiko. Sundin mo yung mga kagustuhan namin at iboboto ka namin. Isang tunay, mabuting leader, magdi-decide Ayon sa kabutihan ng lahat. 
isang hindi magandang politiko, bib niya ang pag ng mga botante niya kahit hindi po nakakabuti sa buong bayan, sila o sa buong bayan, o hindi nakakabuti sa kinukasan ng ating bayan. Maaari ngayon, happy. Basta gusto wala na ako tapos ng term ko problema na ng iba wala na ako dito eh bahala sila ang sasalo ng problema nito so again, our political system in our generation in our country no? most of the politicians that's why most people operate in the fear of men they give men what they do They sometimes they mistakenly call it democracy. Is it democracy? Democracy is not giving them what they. Bawa, if you want to be democratic, I will ask all my grandchildren, na five years old, three years, one year. Anong gusto mo ang dinner? Anong what do you want? Candy, ice cream. Potato chips. Araw-araw yun. Kung sabi, gusto niyang gulay, ayaw. Gusto niyang kanin, ayaw. Gusto nila yung mga deprito, ng fast food, na kahit na hindi po nakakabuti sa kanila, eh yun ang gusto nila. Pag inigyan ko ng masustansyang pagkain, nag-aalboroto. Now, if I were a good parent, a responsible guardian, I would I will not even ask them. I would say this is not good for you. This you eat that there is a place for a little sweets or a little or something. But you don't replace your meal. Alam mga lolola. Then once a day. Hindi naging araw-araw na po. So yun po ang ngipare. Sometimes, mas lolo. Because magulang consumer natin, ngunit ang nga, paminsan-minsan lang, minsan lang kami mag-meet, kaya bibigyan ko na lang ang kagustuhan nila. And so, this becomes the problem. Fear dictates a job. So, para lang mag-ibot sila, they come to the fear of men and they give people what they like kahit na hindi kakayanan ng gobyerno kahit na hindi kakayanan ng national ahala na ang susunod na presidente bahala na sa ang susunod na administrasyon basta sa panahon ko happy kayo and because of the fear of man the culture of the fear of man there are leaders who rise up naging populist bakit? Kaila, hab, ang habol po nila ang bolto niyo eh. Kaya bibigyan nila ang kagustuhan niyo. At yung mga tunay na leader na hindi, to hindi nakakabuti sa bayan natin. Dahil gusto natin instant gratification, kinaboboto. There's a difference there. Influence and play even our electoral system. Okay? And, and now, Not just leave, you know, I'm just using that as an example. Now we our with God. If the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 25. Proverbs 29. We don't hear anything, na pastor. Yeah, maybe for mga thirty seconds back, hindi po natin na dineg. Yeah, it's a if the 
the Lord. We can't hear you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, the topic is very, very good. Kaya lang, hindi, hindi po namin madinig, no? Um, would you like to relog in, Pastor, or ano? I will try. I will try. Yeah, let's try relogging in and maybe use data, ano, Pastor? Or you, you want to do that, or yeah? Okay. So we continue to pray for the connection of Pastor Willie, but it's a beautiful topic, mga kapatid, no? Um, totoo nga, no, Sister Cleo, um, Sister Anita, Sister Juliet, kung the beginning of wisdom is the knowledge of God, what is the end of the wisdom? And so those kind of wisdom na hindi po natin naka-foundation sa ating Panginoon, it's true. Yung kaninang example ni Pastor na um, there is an earthquake in Syria. That The earthquake is not the problem. The problem is the foundation of the building. And so if there are struggles in life, okay, the struggle is not the problem. It is how good is your foundation in the words of God? How close are you to our Lord Jesus Christ? That is the question. Because that will sustain you. Kaya yung wisdom is very important. Ang sinasabi din po kanina, no, dun sa unang topic niya, <clears throat> the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Minsan po, ipaparallel natin, na, natin ito sa salitang, ay, kailangan matakot tayo sa Panginoon. Hindi po yun because ah, over time, nag-iba na po ang mga translation. In fact, doon po sa Hebrew word ng fear of the Lord, the fear is actually to have an intimate relationship sa ating Panginoon. At ang meaning po ng fear is reverence, is respect. Yan. So, uh, I hope this time it's better, Pastor. I'm just uh, telling them na yung mga 30 seconds back mo. Yes. Okay. yes. Yeah. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, I said beginning of wisdom. The end of it. Cover 29 verse. 25. Yes, 29 25. Trusting the Lord means safety. Kung may assure tayo, feeling natin mas kurado pag may, may sa atin. Kung pag may pangko naman sa salita ng Diyos, parang paniniwala ba ako o hindi? And the moment that we for God, for the Lord, that is the beginning of rebellion. Rebellion as obedience. Because you are rebelling, you are resisting the authority. Sabi ng Panginoon, this is good. No, I will not. What happened? We rebel. Because we, that is an act of rebellion. In Psalm chapter 14, verse 1, Psalm chapter 14, verse 1, it says, the fool says in his heart, there's no God. They are corrupt. They do vile deeds. There is no one who does. New Living Translation says, fools say in their hearts, there is no they are corrupt and their actions are evil. Not one of them does. Did you know something? It did not say a fool declare, makes announcement, I don't believe in God, I'm 80. No. It says the fool says in his heart. In his heart. So, maaring nature church po kayo. Maaring ang ng Biblia, ang lalaki ng iyong Biblia, 
maaring kayo sa church. Bakit? God, in your heart, you may say the right thing, you may say the right thing, that you don't really You don't obey him. Simply, even if you claim you fear God, do you obey him? Without obeying him, you just ended the journey to acquire wisdom. You just lose all the wisdom you wanted to have, all God wisdom. Because the fear, the respect, the reverence for the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. To respect the Lord, embrace His command, you obey His word. His word. Maaring mo pa na dahil kilala sa iyo. Iwala ka. Kilala ko ang tinutupat niya ang kanyang mangarap. Salita niya ay on it. There is an integrity in his word. I believe integrity of God. But when he questions, we say, ana, pachamba-chamba lang eh. Hindi naman siguro eh. So we dare take a risk because we don't really respect him. We are willing to take a risk. Makakalusot. Hindi ko susundan. Baka hindi ako mahuli. Baka makakalusot tayo. So, how many times have we to really live and to God seriously? Better walk in the way. There is no other way. Fear of God or fear of man. Respect or respect for man. Valuing God's word or you value the opinion of the people more. This tension. With, with, I want to say a very brief story and very long story. Still, it's important. It's, uh, it's not I'm just this is so that your own time can in this verse first Samuel chapter chapter first Samuel chapter 15 can you hear me no um, now we can hear you. First Samuel, Pastor. Yes, chapter 15. Okay. We are going to read the whole chapter. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. One day, Samuel said to Saul, It was the Lord who told me to anoint you as of his people Israel. Now listen to this message from the Lord. This is what the Lord of heaven's armies has declared, I have decided to settle accounts with the nation of Amalek, opposing Israel, came from Egypt. Now go and completely destroy our Amalek nation. And, amen, children, babies, cattle, sheep, goats, camels, and donkeys. Can you un can you type the word completely and entire? Completely and entire. Type food. So Saul mobilized his army at Tel Aviv. There were 200,000 soldiers from Israel and 10,000 men from Judah. Then Saul and his army went to a town of the Amalekites and lay in wait in the valley. Saul sent this warning to the Kenites. 
Move away from where the Amalekites live, or you will die with them. For you showed kindness to all the people of Israel when they came up from Egypt. So the Kenites packed up and left. Then Saul slaughtered the Amalekites from Havilah all the way to Sur. Verse 8, he captured Agag, the Amalekite king, but completely destroyed everyone else. Saul and his men spared life and kept sheep and goats and the lambs in field or nice. Yeah. Um, naputol po ulit, Pastor. So once again, that is First Samuel 15. And we are reading the whole verse of First Samuel 15 from New Living Translation. Tama po, Pastor? Yes. Uh, ganun na lang po. Uh, can I ask uh, Rome to read na lang from your end? You may want to start from verse 1 all the way to verse... Well, uh, no. Actually, um, you can start from verse 9 all the way to verse 35. Para hindi naman maputol. Yeah. NLT. Ano, Pastor? Yeah. Okay. So, am I right, Pastor? First Samuel 15, verse 9? Yes, yeah. and all the way to the end. All the way to the end, okay. So, First Samuel 15, verse 9, okay. Uh, Saul and his men spared Agag's life and kept the best of the sheep and goats, the cattle, the fat cows, and the lambs, everything, in fact, that appealed to them. They destroyed only what was worthless or of poor quality. Uh, the Lord rejects Saul. Verse 10. Then the Lord said to Samuel, verse 11, I am sorry that I ever made Saul king, for he has not been loyal to me and has refused to obey my command. Samuel was, Samuel was so deeply moved when he heard this that he cried out to the Lord all night. Verse 12. Early the next morning, Samuel went to find Saul. Someone told him, Saul went to the town of Carmel to set up a monument to himself. Then he went on to Gilgal. Verse 13. When Samuel finally found him, Saul greeted him cheerfully. May the Lord bless you, he said. I have carried out the Lord's command. Verse 14. Then what is all the bleating of sheep and goats and the lowing of cattle I hear, Samuel demanded. Verse 15. It's true that the army spared the best of the sheep, goats, and cattle, Saul admitted. But they are going to sacrifice them to the Lord your God. We have destroyed everything else. Verse 16. Then Saul said to, Samuel said to Saul, Stop, listen to what the Lord told me last night. What did he tell you? Saul asked. Verse 17. And Samuel told him, Although you may think of little of yourself, are you not the leader of the tribes of Israel? The Lord has anointed you king of Israel. Verse 18, and the Lord sent you on a mission and told you, go and completely destroy the sinners, the Am Amalekites, until they are all dead. Verse 19, why haven't you obeyed the Lord? Why did you rush for the plunder and do what was evil in the Lord's sight? Verse 20, but I did obey the Lord, Saul insistent, insisted. I carried out the mission he gave me. I brought back King Agag but I destroyed everyone else. Verse 21, Then my troops brought in the best of the sheep and goats, sheep, goats, cattle, and plunder to sacrifice to the Lord your God in Gilgal. Verse 22, But Samuel replied, What is more pleasing to the Lord, your burnt offerings and sacrifices or your obedience to his voice? Listen, obedience is better than sacrifice and submission is better than offering the fat of rams. Verse 23, rebellion is as sinful as witchcraft and stubbornness as bad as worshiping idols. So because you have rejected the command of the Lord, he has rejected you as king. Saul pleads for forgiveness. 
verse 24. Then Saul admitted to Samuel, Yes, I have sinned. I have disobeyed your instructions and the Lord's command. For I was afraid of the people and did what they demanded. But now, please forgive my sin and come back with me so that I may worship the Lord. Verse 26. But Samuel replied, I will not go back with you. Since you have rejected the Lord's command, he has rejected you as king of Israel. As Samuel turned to go, Saul tried to hold him back and tore the hem of his robe. And Samuel said to him, The Lord has torn the kingdom of Israel from you today and has given it to someone else one who is better than you. And he who is the glory of Israel will not lie, nor will he change his mind, for he is not human that he should change his mind. Then Saul pleaded again, I know I have sinned, but please at least honor me before the elders of my people and before Israel by coming back with me so that I may worship the Lord your God. So Samuel finally agreed and went back with him and Saul worshiped the Lord. Samuel executes King Agag. Then Samuel said, bring King Agag to me. Agag arrived full of hope, for he thought, surely the worst is over and I have been spared. But Samuel said, as your sword has killed the sons of many mothers, now your mother will be childless. And Samuel cut Agag to pieces before the Lord at Gilgal. Then Samuel went home to Ramah and Saul returned to his house at Gibeah of Saul. Samuel never went to meet with Saul again, but he mourned constantly for him. And the Lord was sorry he had ever made Saul king of Israel. So I want us to see a lot of manifest. Of when you fear man, you have, you may have godly wisdom, but that's more rationalization. The fear of the Lord means that you Sure, you when you risk somebody, lahat sinasabi niya, sino sabi na? Hindi ko tayo namimili, namimili. We pick and choose, we cherry pick what we want, we want to do. If you respect a person, if you respect your, and your mother tell you 10 things, you will follow 10 things. You not only choose what Five. Love. Third. So here, the command was very clear. Completely destroyed the entire. So it's across the board. It's complete in Amalekites. What did Saul say? Saul said, Saul pretended okay na kasi halos lahat sinunod niya. When when even when Saul was looking for him, na walasya, saan ano nagbubulakbo? Yung pagpumot walasya sa Carmel, why to set up a monument to him? Now the first symptom of fear of or the respect for God is that he Nothing, Pastor. Nothing? Na, yan, meron. Yan. Okay. So, sim for God. Mm. You yourself high pedestal. You respect yourself. You love yourself more. You are self-centered. Mm. Usually, you build, you, you know, you, you, if a person is good and he died, after he, people will remember the monument in his honor. Mm -hmm. But he was so full of himself, he did not want him to die. He wanted mm -hmm. to enjoy the honor. He wanted to enjoy the moment. So he built the monument in his own honor. Mm -hmm. Maybe he was concerned but baka kinalimutan niya. He was or my memory, so I might as well do it myself. And then, as far as concern, 
sinundan naman ang utos ng Panginoon. Mm. Ang sabi, ang utos ng Panginoon and he destroyed completely. Yeah. Entirely. Mm. Sa, ang sagot niya, sabi niya, I have carried out the Lord's command. Mm. Then, binalikan niya itong mga naririk kong mga tu- mm. Yeah. It's crying out. I thought you are to destroy everything. Yeah. Then he said, Oh, actually, mga alo ko kasi, gusto nila itabi yun mga the best. Para naman kay Lord yun. Para naman kay Lord. Balak naman nila ay Panginoon. To the Lord your God. Mm-hmm. Not to the Lord our God. To the Lord your God. He was trying to please Saul. Yeah. Okay, magalit, ha, para sa Diyos mo yun. So hindi mo Diyos ba? Hindi ba pareho ang Diyos natin? Sabi niya, we have destroyed everything else. Mm. The word there is sa madaling salita we did not destroy everything. Maliban dito mm. mga magagandang hayop at yun hari, lahat wala. We destroyed everything else excluding this one. But the commandment was completely and entirely. That's when some stop. He was so yeah. angry. He said, God is going. God told me that you, you are so proud now. That you nobody. Yeah. But now that you are an anointed, you now are king. He asked you to do something, destroy the sinners, the Amalekites, until they are all dead. Why mm-hmm. haven't you obeyed the Lord? Why did you rush for the plunder? Abul mo yung mga makukuha mo, mga alagang mm-hmm. bagay. Do what is evil in the Lord's eye. Ano pong sagot niya sa verse 20? But did obey the Lord? Nakikipag... Tal- Sinundan ko naman na. Yeah. Okay. Sabi niya, inuunod yung hari agad. Yeah. Pero, iba. Ito. Mm. Ang utos, utos eh, Ubusin mo silang lahat. Sa ang sabi ni ko naman lahat ba? Mm. Ang mga tao nito ay tinatawag na amalak. Yun ha. Hindi. Amalak ang citizens. Yet, somehow soul in his own wisdom ah hindi be hindi he tried to convince at ah, lahat okay naman sa eh ang kanino masyado ka naman malupit panginoon sa si kare din eh wala naman masyang magagawa lahat ay patay na and then pinasa pa niya in si si sa responsibility sa mga tauhan niya sabi ka then my troops yung mga tauhan ko kasi gusto isalba yung mga magagandang tupa at kambing para din naman kay Lord. Diba? May nagsasabi, may mag, nagnakaw ng uh, kumita dahil sa hindi pamang pamamaraan nila, total, yun ika po, ibibigay ko naman sa Panginoon. Eh. Mm. Lagay pa magalit tapos 10% para sa iyo. Yung 20% nyari ito. It's human wisdom. Human wisdom. Yeah. Ito-tong eh. Ito, bigyan kita ng ship. Yeah. We can't hear. <laughs> We can't What hear. about now? Yeah, now. I think you, you need to press something from your side. What do you do when you talk like that? <clears throat> oh, it's the battery of the speaker. Oh, yeah. yeah. When you touch that, it becomes better. 
I, I don't I don't touch anything. Oh, I see. Sige, yeah. Okay. okay. So he was trying to blame the soldiers for reason and trying to God, expecting that I pray, God will forgive me, God will understand, and God will bless me. When we don't fear God, we disrespect him so much, just like Saul, that he even insulted God's intelligence by saying, Lord, I will give you. Hindi para sa'yo din naman to. Eh. Huwag ka na magalit. Mm-hmm. Eh kung pinatay ko lahat, eh, wala akong maibibigay sa'yo, that's when Samuel said, Teka, mahal, mas mahalaga pa sa ang Panginoon ang mga alay ng tao o ang, ang, ang obedience. So, how do you know? Do you respect and fear? How do you know you are growing in God wisdom? The answer is obedience. Mm. Obedience. And we will go to that now. We will go to what is obedience and what is disobedience. Later on, nung sinabi na ni uh, Samuel sa kanya kung anong sinabi o natanggal ka na bilang hari sa kanila namin sabi na siya na hindi ko instruction na ako sa mga tao and so he admitted I come to the end of the fear of the Lord I start fearing men. I am the king. And I fear men. I was afraid the people. So, what they do. Actually, that's been an exaggeration. And then, you can see that repentance. Because then he said that, please forgive me and come with me. Go back with me. Sabi na, check ka na. Hindi ka na magtatagal bilang hari. I-reject ka na ng Panginoon. Ngunit, kinikip niya. Ang bang lakas, punit. Ano po ang sabi niya? Na, para honor me in front of the people. After the end, he was himself. A proud man is a wise man. He was building money himself and now he was, he was in sin and he still wanted to the respect of man rather than the poor. Now, compare this with David. He was caught in sin. He said, Lord, touch me. Don't spare the people. I don't want any war. If you have let the child die, let the child die. Let, let me suffer, but don't spare the people. But he was truly repentant. But here was and full of himself. He feared the opinion of men, not the opinion of God. He wanted to honor himself above. He wanted to, to, to twist it, saying that I have obeyed the man. Pinampanan ko naman pinatgawa mo sa akin eh. But you see, true obedience is not late obedience. Obedience. Halimbawa, ang sabi ng Panginoon, ibigay mo to sa Kanya. Dahil wala na siyang makakain, gusto ko, bless mo siya. Panginoon, next week na lang. Medyo wala pa akong sahot eh. Ang sabi ng pang nabigyan mo yun 20 pesos mo, e eh, 20 lang ang pera ko eh. Hindi naman pinapabigay sa'yo na kung wala ka eh. Meron. Kasya, but we ibibigay. We play. Maybe when you meet miss the timing. Delayed obedience is disobedience. Number two, partial obedience. If enemy completely, entirely. And you said, did that. 
99.9% if not one in hari in spare ko. Matay kasi sa akin, awa, may, may edat na eh. And that, it, obedience is purity of worship. Obedience is wholehearted respect for. That is what obedience is. That is what the fear of God is. That is what beginning of wisdom looks like. That you give God wholehearted in it. Sometimes, we begin to argue. We begin to rationalize. Eh, halos okay naman eh. 99. Sundan kong salita ng Diyos eh. The whole pure. Because mm-hmm. it did. For example, meron kang ano, meron kang mineral water. Mm-hmm. And then, sasabihin ko sa inyo, okay, ilalagay isang drop ng tubig galing sa mm-hmm. Malinis naman eh. Nag-spray ako ng pabango eh. Check ko. And then, oh, para sa inyo, wala naman. Ako din cool agong kulay. Amuin mo, wala amoy. Hindi mo maamoy, hindi mo makikita. Ngunit, kapag nalaman natin na meron pinatak na isang drop, isang patak lamang, hindi tubig. Hindi na inumin. Kahit na well, less than 1%. Because it is now contaminated. Mm-hmm. We are standard when it comes to the water we drink. Mm. And yet, when it comes to our walk with God, upon, ayun, 50%. Pwede na yun. At least more. And this, many of the wisdom we thought we have are not godly wisdom. Mm. Because we don't really re- <clears throat> real obedience is complete obedience. Real obedience is immediate obedience, or what I will tell my children: first time obedience. What is first time obedience? Yun pagsabi ko, even if you don't understand, you will obey because you trust me. For example. If my I don't teach my children first time obedience. And I said, to sila sa nakalye, meron akong nakitang parating na isang motor, ang bilis, ang tulin. Pag sinabi ko, hinto! Kung hindi po sanay sila, na nitiwa, patuloy pa rin maglalaka dahil wala, hindi nila nakikita. Bakit? Bakit? I-explain mo nga sa akin bakit. Boom, patay na. Too late. The fear of trap. It is a trap. In safety. In, in safety. Like when you trust that, you are protected. You are safety. But when you are trained, if the fact, if the fact, lang dumaan pala. Mm. Explain. It's our Yeah. So, going back to trust God. How much do we fear God? How much do we hold Him at all? How much do we respect Him? Mm. Should He always explain everything to us? Can we bring understand the creator of Mm. It takes a lifetime or sometimes we have to go to heaven to understand everything. If God would think that, will we handle it? Will we comprehend everything? This is the reason why we need Yeah. Will, I don't, I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know why. I cannot see it. But because you say it, I believe it settles it. That's what trust is all. And when we do that, so in godly because mm. because the signal is 
but my assignment and my challenge to you is absolute obedience. Absolutely. Anything less is disobedience. Mm. Any late is obedience. Saul thought he was so smart. As far as God is concerned, you are the king. You just disobeyed me, and when you disobeyed me, you dishonored me. When you disobeyed me, you rebelled against me. And the challenge today is you don't have to do great things. If you would only obey even in small things, mm. consistently. I like what somebody, I, I heard one time uh, a, a pastor who said that you don't have to die for the gospel. Jesus already died for us. Your job is just to live for the gospel. Mm. Madali lang magpapako sa krus eh. It's hirap. But the challenge is, can you yeah small things completely immediately yeah and what negotiation no next last to enjoy mo naman ako establish na ako may pamilya negotiating with God there is no room for negotiation when it comes to obedience mm. and it all boils down to do you respect and unless we do that we cannot even start the journey we cannot even start walking mm. the path of wisdom. Mm. You want to be wise? Start right. Respect God. And how do you prove that? Obeying what he said. And you will be on the road to obedience. And wisdom, you will gain insight over life. You will be a and, and be a blessing to other people. Mm. Tonight is a bit challenging, a technical problem, but the Holy Spirit minister to you. I still Amen. pray that you will still spend time in chapter 15. Try to understand what it and to apply. What if you will? Maybe you don't have to kill the enemy. Maybe it's just a simple favorite candy of somebody else. Just, just smile at somebody that has uh, spoken ill of you. Just walk. You to grow wisdom. Respect God. How? Walk in obedience. Mm. And you will grow in wisdom. Amen. At least take over, so at least it will be clear to the people. Yeah. Yeah. We praise God because every one of us here, Pastor, even though we catch only bits and pieces, but we try to read from your lips. And the Holy Spirit is here. We are all here in PAC, no? Because everybody wanted to catch the message. The absolute obedience is very important. <clears throat> and when you explain, Pastor, that is it the fear of God or the fear of men? Those two are pierced in my heart, eh? Kasi talagang sometimes we do something for ourselves. The power and pain, kumakaway-kaway palagi every day. 
yan po sa atin. Kumakaway-kaway talaga. We wanted to build something for ourselves. Yung monumento lagi natin. Gusto nating magkalapida. Gusto nating magkaroon lagi ng... Meron tayong monumento dyan sa, sa Balintawak. And so, today is a bit challenging, but we praise God. First Samuel 15, we will read into that. And maybe next session, we will try to uh, do once again ito pong uh, the fear of God. Amen? And with that, I think it's already 8-11. Uh, uh, Rome, you want to say something? Are you there? <laughs> Praise God, we are all here, no? What did you cut? So One-liner. Yeah, um, what I caught is uh, something that Pastor uh, Willie said earlier in the message. Na, if you want to be wise, you need to respect the Lord. And it really got me thinking, uh, how does one like really start to respect someone? So, you know, by blindly respecting God, by, like obeying him without really knowing him, obeying him without really like um, understanding the way he works, the way he thinks, and, you know, without really reading the Bible, I don't, um, blindly obeying him without really knowing him, I don't think that's considered wise. So it's really about taking the time uh, for his word, you know, not just reading it, but really to understand um, what he does uh, for us in the Bible. We can only really know that if we read the Bible, if we un take the time to understand the Bible, um, to understand the events that happened, and just simply to getting to know him, how he loves us, how he loves his children. And that, for me, is how we, that's how it starts. That's how we slowly start to respect his word, how, how we start to respect him. And at the same time, we get his strength, we get his wisdom. So if you want to gain understand, if you want to gain understanding, if you want to gain wisdom, it all starts in learning about God. Amen and amen. Pero kasi pastor, no, meron kasi mga teachings before na they teach Jesus Christ of what he can do for you. Not who he is. Hindi tinuro kung sino siya. Hindi siya minahal. Para bang mahal ko si Brother Mel kasi guwapo siya at may pera siya. So yung, yung love ko, blinded yung sinasabi. Hindi ko siya minahal kung di bilang isang Brother Mel. Ano? Sometimes we love Jesus Christ because he will give me car. I will be blessed. Ito yung mga teaching po na hindi tama yung fear of the Lord. At isa pa siguro yung sinasabi ni Pastor kanina yung absolute obedience ano yung absolute kasi at saka yung first time obedience nako hello sa mga anak diyan <laughs> mga sampung beses na nating sasabihin pero yun nga no kumasagasaan ka bigla yung yung aksidente in a split second eh so ito yung ito yung fear of the lord gusto ko rin sinabi ni ni Rome na yung meron kang relasyon eh you have to know him Pero beginning to know him, sometimes, Pastor, meron ding mga katuroan na uh, he loves us so much, he's our friend. Pero nakakalimutan natin that, that he is our holy God. Yung reverence na respeto naman. Noong unang panahon nga, eh, pagka yung mga bata, hindi kayo pwedeng sumali sa usapan na matatanda. Ano talaga yan? Lalatiguhin ka pag hindi ka... Pag, Pag sumali, sumabad-sabad ka, no? Yung respeto ng kukulang, ito pala yung fear of the Lord. Yung obedience sa Kanya. Huwag kalilimutan na Holy God po, yung ating Diyos Ama. And remember yung kaninang unang part ni Pastor na medyo hindi nyo na dinega, no? Nag-iba-iba lang po yung term. Kasi Pastor, ang akala nila sa fear, katatakutan natin ng Diyos. Eh, Iba po ang ibig sabihin ng fear dun sa Hebrew word. Ang Hebrew word, ibig sabihin po niyan, reverence, respeto. Yung may respetong pagmamahal. Okay? And with that, nawala si Mel at saka si Hana. And uh, you want to say something very fast? And we will close it in prayer. Hana? Siguro, yung fear of the Lord pala, no? ito yung key to unlock uh, the wisdom. Yung, ito yung starting point na to, to finding a real, uh, a real wisdom. Kasi 
parang sinasabi ng pastor kayo na merong totoong wisdom, merong real wisdom, at saka merong false wisdom. Kung may real, may false wisdom. Fake news. Fake news. Di ba? And then, ito yung sinasabi din ni Rom kanina, na, na sinabi din ni pastor na wisdom begin with knowing God. Kasi siya yung nagbibigay ng insight sa atin, ng instruction. Siya yung nagbibigay ng manual of life from start to finish. Mm. Yun yung... Uh, yun yung ano yun yung rema sa akin. So kailangan natin sundin yon. Yeah. Mm. Sa sa beginning pa lang uh, from start to finish dapat susundin natin yung wisdom niya. Amen. Amen. Hana. Same thing with that. The fear of the Lord is the foundation of wisdom talaga. That's what uh, struck me the most and yung there is no negotiation. Uh, in obedience. Mm. So you have to obey the Lord first before anything else and everything will follow. Amen. Amen. Okay. And with that, it's such a beautiful episode. Now we get the challenge of the technical audio of Pastor Willie. But you know what? We should... We should appreciate that there are times na malinaw na malinaw yung mga audio po natin in the previous episodes. Kasi po, in the future, wala na talagang magtuturo. Pag there are times, darating po ang panahon na mawawala itong internet or mawawala yung mga nagtuturo sa atin. Kaya nga po, i-appreciate natin na every Tuesday and Thursday talagang... Um, maging present po tayo. But we are all here, Pastor. Andito sila lahat. Even though naglilip sync ka, eh talagang binantayan namin yung lip sync. I will close in prayer po. Ano? Kasi baka hindi nyo madinig si Pastor. Panginoon, marami pong salamat sa gabi ito. Muli, Panginoon, ay pinatunayan mo na hindi lamang audio ang paraan upang maramdaman ka namin. Now that we are here in this platform, very eager to receive your message. Father God, I speak to all those that are present, live and replay, that all the words that are spoken today, they will receive it in your way, Father. In so many ways, they will receive the message. Father God, thank you, Lord, for our episode two, the beginning of wisdom. And that is you, Father God. Lord, we thank you for everything. We give you glory and honor. And till the next episode, Father God, we will keep your love in us and we will be excited to receive and receive wisdom from you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Mahal po namin kayo, Pastor. You want to say something? I I think okay naman kahit pa paano makuha namin. Yeah, Some- Pinokina, uh, there's a in people. What that? Mm. I can't hear. We can't hear. Try again. <laughs> Sometimes we overemphasize on what the hands of God can do, and we miss the heart of God. Mm. Get the heart of God. Mm. And you will not miss what his hands can do. Oh, beautiful. Ang ganda ng pastor. Sometimes we miss, we, we see the hand of God instead of the heart of God. Get the heart of God and you will see what his hands can do. Beautiful. What a way to close this episode. Good night po sa inyong lahat. Mahal po namin kayo. See you next time. God bless. God bless. God bless.